In this presentation, we're going to look at how we can use Microsoft Excel's Goal Seeking feature to help us solve difficult equations. Here I've got a spreadsheet which shows a business case. I'm looking at a business in which I'm going to have to spend some money on staff. Each year their staff costs are going to go up. I'm going to have to spend money on machines that are going to last me 10 years. I'm going to have to pay rent uh, for my offices for, for maybe a five year period of rent. I've estimated the market size for the, my product would be around £2 million a year. The penetration rate in the first year would be about 1.5% and then potentially I could increase that by a further 2% each year. So I then have a series of equations down here that are calculating how much money I'm going to make or in this case how much money I'm going to lose each year. And at the moment I currently have a three year profit projection of minus £274,000. Now what I need to do in order to go to the bank and maybe raise some money is get that three year profit projection equal to zero. I.e. I break even after three years and then on year four, five and six I'll start to make some money. So what I'm going to look at is how I can change some of these things up here to get this number to zero. So I could uh, look at the increase penetration into the market each year. So I could start playing with this number. Let's do 2.5. And you see that number there starts to get smaller. Let's do 3. 3.5. And if you've ever found yourself in this position with a spreadsheet with just tweaking numbers slightly to get what you want, then goal seeking is exactly what we need. Let's select that cell and I'll show you how to do it. First of all we go Tools and we go Goal Seek. We've got a simple form up here and this simple form says set the value in C16, sorry F16, it's highlighted there, that's the value we want. We want to set that equal to zero and we want to make that equal to zero by changing the contents of this cell here. So it's now going to change the contents of cell D9 until the F16 equals zero. So we just do that, it plays about with some numbers and there it goes, it's put 6.6 .6 in there. Now we can click OK to accept that, or we can click Cancel to ignore it. I'm going to click Cancel, but you can see by doing 6.6 .6 there, we've then lost £125,000 in the first year, made £104 in the second year and £125,000 in the third year, meaning we break even. I cancel that and it will put my original figures back in because what I want to do is let's also look at how we could change the penetration rate to do that. So again we repeat the process, we select that cell Tools, Goal Seeking, we're going to change what's in F16 equal to zero by changing my, in this case, my initial penetration. Click OK and it now shows me that in year one if I could actually make about 4.6% of the penetration into the market then I'll break even after three years. Okay. So it's a very, very powerful tool for enabling you to sort of play with what if scenarios and working through various data, especially in this case I use it a lot when I'm putting businesses together or going to the bank looking for money or whatever else I need to do. Um, it's a very good way to uh, run through ideas you've got in your head and find out exactly what you need to do to reach a particular goal. Have fun, download the spreadsheet as normal uh, and have a go yourself.